that's my life. Sorry. Just go on. What's up? Welcome back for another video. RF Pulse, let's go. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I had a special guest with me here today, but he just left. Got mad because he couldn't do the introduction. However, if you're new to this channel, I'm back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. And in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So back to the topic. Today, we're going to talk about RF pulse. The difference between having normal, fast, and low SAR. The different pulses. I'm going to take the practical part today. However, I recently found this paper, which is old. You can go in here. I would put the link in the description down below for you to have a better understanding what these three different pulse modes give you. The pitfalls, the pro, and the cons, right? Many years ago, I noticed this signal interference whenever I'm using RF pulse wrongly in a combination with a restore pulse. But I couldn't understand why. But just now, I heard it's a rumor that says there's a bug out there on the software E11C and downwards, okay? So the new uh, software such as E11E and the XA platform, the, the, the bug is gone. When it comes to this bug, I noticed that if you have a stack of images, let's say 20 images, and then the first few slices get this signal interference, and then the last part also get this signal interference, but the mid part is just working nicely. So this is the strange thing. Today I'm going to show you how you can get around this. And uh, we're going to do a few test scans. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Alright guys, we are live at the 1.5 Tesla. So this works as the same on 3T. Just as using a knee here for the demonstration of the RF pulses. So I'm just going to do a position of the knee here. I'm doing a localizer. And then I just going to do a sagittal bead PD fat set for this demonstration. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here now, we're gonna have RF pulse normal. And remember the restore pulse is also on. And then we're gonna do another test where we're gonna have the RF pulse on fast. Just gonna write fast there. And the last one, we're gonna have low SAR. Just gonna write low there. All right, cool. So we're gonna compare this in the end of the scanning session. All right, so I have now four images with me here. So before I close off the video, I decided to, yeah, I do another test, the fourth one, which I'm gonna explain to you why. Because this relationship between the fast, normal, and low, and having the restore on or off, I have a lot to say, so this will demonstrate this one. So just take a look at the images first. They're for the four different scans. So let's zoom in here. All right. So image one, two, three, four. Number two, that looks a little bit different in the signal intensity, right? Okay. So let's do some measurements. Okay. The first one is normal, RF pulse normal with this restore pulse on. The second image is RF pulse fast restore pulse is on the third image is rf pulse low and the restore pulse is on and then the fourth image is rf pulse fast but the restore pulse is off okay the restore pulse is off so take a look at the the values there so having it normal is a high value and then you have a rf pulse fast you get a signal interference there 
and then you have a low it seems okay but then at the fourth image if you're going to go fast you need to turn off the restore pulse so the relationship between fast and restore is not a good idea that's the bug from my opinion so if you want to go fast on t2 weighted and pd you need to turn off the restore pulse okay or you can just use normal or low combined with restore pulse it's all up to you that's it guys well that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and find this valuable before we close up i do have a question for you have you seen this artifact before if so let me know in the comment down below if you like this video do not forget to push the like button and and subscribe hit the notification bell because you will get a ding ding whenever new stuff is up so until next time i catch up with you peace out